36-year-old Antonio Williams has six felony convictions, half are violent. You actually have a defendant who is on bond for murder while serving a prison sentence. Think about that. You're on bond for murder, you're serving a prison sentence. Hadn't seen that one in my 35 plus years. A 36-year-old repeat violent offender accused of killing his girlfriend last week was actually on bond for murder while serving a prison sentence at the same time. If you know you're in something that is dragging your energy or is not good for you, please, please take it's, my it's sister as an example it's, and it's get out of it. This is the story of Mayanda Thomas, a 33-year-old mother of a 2-year-old who was known for her bubbly personality and loving nature. Mayanda was in a tumultuous relationship with her child's father, 36-year-old Antonio Williams, who was on bond for murdering his ex-girlfriend's mother and attempting to murder his ex-girlfriend. Tragically, Mayanda would get into an argument with Antonio and he would do the unimaginable. He would take her life and take off with their child on a bicycle. Why was Antonio out on bond if he was accused of murder once before and how could he be so heartless and shoot his girlfriend to death in front of their child? Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Houston, Texas. 33-year-old Mayanda Thomas, a resident of Houston, was described as a dedicated mother and beloved friend whose presence could light up any room. Mayanda was in a relationship with 36-year-old Antonio Williams and the couple were parents to a two-year-old. Antonio had a long and troubling criminal history. His criminal record included numerous convictions, ranging from drug offenses and burglary to assaults on family members and illegal possession of weapons. He was on parole for a 2021 felon in possession conviction and out on bond for the alleged murder of another woman, Melinda Bibbs, in 2019. Melinda was the 60-year-old mother of Antonio's ex-girlfriend. On New Year's Eve in 2019, Antonio got into an argument with his ex-girlfriend and returned later to shoot up his ex-girlfriend's home, killing her mother and seriously injuring her. Melinda Bibbs was 60 years old. She was a mother, grandmother, godmother, but she was more than that. She was a lovable person. You know, she, um, she didn't have no enemies. Everybody she came in contact with loved her. She was the life of the boy. The last time Christina Young saw her mother-in-law was during the Christmas holidays, and when it came time to say goodbye... She told me again, she said, I love you, Christy. I say, Mama, I love you too. So, and that was, that was it. On New Year's Eve, her family says she planned to watch movies with her daughter, Ebony, who lived with her along with her one-year-old child. Shots were fired through the window at the home. Ebony seriously wounded, but her mother was killed. At the time, HPD investigators stated it was believed to be the result of an altercation between Ebony and her ex-boyfriend, but there has been no arrest, no charges filed, and it compounds the pain for the Bibbs family. When somebody takes your mother into life into their own hands, it's a whole different, it's a whole different world whole different ball game. Ebony is recovering her family, helping care for her child. But on top of grief, there's concern. Um, but the big thing is to know that he's still out there, um, not knowing if he is going to tr try to strike again, um, not being able to sleep at night, um, not being comfortable around windows. In the midst of loss and fear, they're planning a funeral hoping that the final gift they can give Melinda Bibbs is justice. Following the incident, Antonio's bond in Fort Bend County for Bibbs' alleged murder was initially set at $500,000 but was reduced to $115,000 by October 2022. Despite his lengthy criminal record, Antonio managed to post bond and was released. Court records show that Harris County later revoked Antonio's bond in connection with a felon in possession of a weapon charge. He pleaded guilty to this charge in September 2023 and was sentenced to two years in prison, with credit for time already served. Antonio was released from prison on parole in March 2024. Two months later, he would do the unimaginable. Friday, May 31st, would be a day that forever changed the lives of Mayanda's friends and loved ones. At approximately 8.45 a.m., the Houston Police Department responded to a distress call at Mayanda Thomas's residence. Upon arrival, officers found Mayanda unresponsive in her bedroom, suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. 
Despite the quick response of Houston Fire Department paramedics, Mayanda was pronounced dead at the scene. The investigation unveiled a heartbreaking sequence of events. Mayanda and her boyfriend, Antonio Williams, had a heated argument that escalated into physical violence. In a fit of rage, Antonio shot Mayanda multiple times before fleeing the scene on a bicycle with their two-year-old child. The safety of the child became a primary concern for the responding officers. As officers canvassed the area, they soon located Antonio riding a bicycle with his two-year-old child. Realizing he was cornered, Antonio turned the gun on himself in a desperate attempt to escape accountability. The officers acted swiftly, ensuring the child's safety and providing immediate medical assistance to Antonio, who had sustained a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Emergency responders rushed him to the hospital. Andy Cahan, director of victim services and advocacy at Crime Stoppers of Houston, criticized the judicial decisions that allowed Antonio to remain free despite his violent history. In 2021, Antonio Williams is charged with felon in possession of a weapon. Yeah, he's charged in Harris County, felon in possession of a weapon, a firearm, and he posts bond. In March of 2022, Williams is charged with murder in Fort Bend County. He's accused of killing 60-year-old Melinda Bibbs on New Year's Eve 2019. Police say Melinda's 30-year-old daughter Ebony was also shot but survived. Williams was Ebony's ex-girlfriend. Williams' half a million dollar bond is eventually lowered to $115,000. So for $15,000, he walks out of jail on the murder charge. Correct. So now he's on bond for the murder in Fort Bend County. He's still on bond for the felon in possession of a weapon in Harris County. September of last year, Williams pleads guilty to felon in possession of a weapon. He takes a two-year plea deal. Last March, he leaves prison and his bond is reinstated. What they should have done is followed up with him there in Fort Bend right after he got out and made either new conditions or reviewed his bond at least. Williams is free on bond for the murder charge for less than two months when police say he killed another girlfriend, 33-year-old Mayanda Thomas. It happened last Friday at 709 East 36th Street. There's some sort of disturbance. Multiple gunshots were heard. The male flees the scene with the two-year-old child on a bicycle. Officers arrive. They find that a female is deceased. If his bond would not have been lowered, what happened? Last Friday would not have happened. That's right. Mayanda Thomas's untimely death has left a deep void in the lives of her loved ones. If you know you're in something that is dragging your energy or is not good for you, please, please take it's, my it's sister as way. an example it's, and it's get out of it. 34 year old Mayanda Thomas's family showed up in groups and stood at the crime scene tape on East 36th Street while Houston police gathered evidence in her murder. To get this call, that she's not here is like, no way. <laughs> You're joking. I, I just kept saying this is a bad dream. This is a nightmare. Family says the mother of two was with her younger son at the child's father's house in Independence Heights when they got into a fight this morning. Thomas's family says she did not want to be with him, which was a point of contention. During the fight, police say the child's father shot Thomas. It didn't have to happen. From there, the gunman took off on a bicycle with the toddler and rode about two miles before police spotted him. He's not going to be wearing a shirt. He's going to have a baby um, with no shirt either. Before the officers made any real contact with him, police say the gunman shot himself. You do what you did it. in front of your kid right. to take his mom away, That's then wrong. try to take yourself out with the That's baby wrong. right there. Like, no, you have no, no heart, no conscience. He lived and was taken to surgery. Unfortunately, Thomas did not survive. The baby was unharmed and is with the gunman's family. As Antonio remains hospitalized, facing murder charges, the community seeks justice for Mayanda, hoping that her story will lead to changes that protect others from similar fates. Antonio's freedom at the time of Mayanda's murder raises serious questions about the justice system's handling of his cases. Andy Cahan noted that he had never seen a case where an individual was out on bond for murder while simultaneously serving a prison sentence. Mayanda's story highlights the need for a more effective system to prevent repeat offenders from causing further harm. As of now, Antonio remains hospitalized for the self-inflicted gunshot wound. 
On June 3, 2024, three days after Mianda was killed, the 400th District Court of Fort Bend County revoked his bond for the murder of his ex-girlfriend's mother. This complex web of legal oversights and tragic outcomes highlights the need for systemic change to ensure that justice is served and lives are protected. My condolences to Mianda's friends and family. She should be here. May you continue to heal and one day find peace. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.